by Thunder Hammer time. Plinkle, 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 plinkle. All right. Uh, this week I'm going to skip down in the newsletter to the bottom, and then we're going to pop up to the top. So uh, newsletter stuff this week. Do check out all of the hardware that's out there. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi Pico Power 3D mouse with Circuit Python. There is a pseudo Linux written in Circuit Python for the Raspberry Pi. There is a objectifying of the Joypad. It's the user's mm -hmm. code.py will now be clean and simple. Create an instance of Joypad and then just process the key events while true loop. The code is also uh, able to detect the libraries and uh, provides links. There is some um, badge OS uh, from the Pymeroni project that's ported over to CircuitPython, so you can oh, use the Pymeroni um, cool e ink badge that they just made. With we Circuit have Python. very good e ink support. Yeah. And obviously, for the mag tag, we did a lot of low power stuff too. Yep. Um, you can check out CircuitPython 720 on the Espresso RIS 5, ESP32 C3 dev board, more e ink displays. And this, oh, uh, I guess this is another one. Uh, Pipkin is a tool for installing distribution packages for MicroPython and CircuitPython. If you're managing a lot of libraries, it must be, might be interesting to you. And then more hardware Python Lots of stuff projects in this week. and more. And so the highlights of the week um, that I wanted to show was first up, we have a new version of CircuitPython. It's seven to one. Um, I guess the big thing is we fixed the big thing was we fixed a SAMD auto reload. Yeah. There was a little bit of a like it was a marginal thing. thing. Did a couple of you know version uh, updates. Um, so mostly bug fixes. All right. Keep and keep putting in those bug issues. We're gonna fix them. Anne was on the Python Bytes Python stream. The latest episode of the CircuitPython show came out. This is Professor John Gallagher, who, uh, let's see. John Gallagher is, sorry, March 15th, that was yesterday. Les Pounder was March 8th, that was last week. Yeah. So there's already uh, a lot of episodes. There's three episodes. Check it out. Um, and then speaking of Professor John Gallagher, here's uh, two tutorials as we include this in our newsletter. This is Raspberry Pi drum board um, for this Raspberry Pi CircuitPython school. And then also uh, physical computing with Professor John Gallagher, STEM QT on a Raspberry Pi with Quick. Um, another stream, Tammy Makes Things, CircuitPython stream, and another cool keyboard, RP2040 base keyboard controller that you can use with CircuitPython. All this stuff is available in Adafruit Daily. It's our separate website just for newsletters. Go to adafruitdaily.com. We deliver these every single week. And that is your Python on hardware news for this week. Okay.